the spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against you. Oh, didn't God do that? Uh -huh. So again in uh, uh, this uh, January this year, the theme has been Ezekiel 34. Where the Bible, where God said to the children of Israel, I will make them and I have been stuck in this word wondering when God says I will make them who is God talking to but God said I will make them and the places around my hills are blessing and I will cause showers to come in their season and then the prophet says there shall be showers of a blessing so when God put that word in my heart in October and at the time we were going through a very severe drought and famine in Kenya I had to, as the man of God was saying you have to keep checking God did I hear right but but today we can stand at the altar and say God has performed his word against the odds against prediction of men concerning Africa and drought today Kenya we are soaking wet as a nation and I want the devil to know shortly in another month Kenya will have a bumper harvest Kenya watapata mafuno ya you know, for once I thought had had our president seen my notes. When he started giving farmers fertilizer in the time of drought. But how many know we thank God for the wetness and the and the food God is giving us? I said the other day as you walk around the streets especially those sides of Geshagi is where I, I stay those sides of Kiambu as you go out you see women and children picking managus and tereres and everything the most most healthy food because Amba, they are wild nice vegetables so God has been speaking to us allow me to go back and say as I stand on this altar today God is looking for a man I say God is looking for a man and I know my assignment is simple because the man is here today that God is looking for so you better prepare yourself to hear the voice of God and what God is saying in a time such as this. God is looking for a man. God is looking for a man. And I kept on asking God, what, what, does, what is this about? Can we allow God to make us this time? because we have an assignment before God the people that God is looking one of the key, key major things will be character God will look for a man a just man yes a man of a, man of a right standing with a man who fears God I must mention of moral standing and let me also say honest a man who is consistent a man who is available 
a man who loves people a man also who is the giver you can continue with the list because I want to go to the message because there are so many qualities that God is looking for in a man this time I sense every time a move of God raises up a move of God is named to a person instead of God this time God is about to do something new he will raise a people who will exalt the name of the Lord and not themselves a man people made by God these days there are many products that we buy Kenyans we love anything that says made in United Kingdom but also we have things from made in China God is not going to pick a man made by China or UK God will raise a people that he will make himself so that the glory and the honor will come back to him so today I want us to look at the life of a man called Gideon look at somebody and tell them if they have no attitude and they are looking like they are born again and they don't look dangerous look, look, look at them if they have an a good attitude and a good spirit. Tell them, I'm sensing you are the Gideonites she's talking about. Yeah, tell them you are the Gideonite. It seems like you have a spirit of a Gideon. To tear down, to pull down, and to build. What did they say? They are good? Alright, then I can continue. So I will speak from Judges, the sixth chapter. And I sense as I was praying, Kenya, we are where the children of Israel were at the time of Judges. Kenya, tupo wakat, wakat vile wana wa, wa Israel lukua kule because this time when God is about to raise Gideon the spirit of the Midianites oppressed the children of Israel the Bible says that the hand of the Midianites prevailed against the children of Israel and so they look for hiding places they made themselves dead and caves so strongholds they hid in the mountains they were looking for hiding places because of the situation so when Israel, the Bible says when the children of Israel sowed into the ground waiting for a harvest immediately as they sowed to the ground. When their crops begin to come up, the Bible says that the Midianites came in numerous numbers. They came in thousands. They came with their donkeys. They came with their goats and sheep and cows. And what was left over and behind. They came with their camels that in other words is called clearing and forwarding so there was nothing remaining so the Midianites encamp against the children of Israel destroying their produce so sometimes I feel like our nation we are where children of Israel were because we are witnessing a generation that is very destructive that is being used by the enemy to destroy structures 
lives, maisha, businesses. Biashara. So now people have a habit of hiding things. Sasa watu wamebaki na tabia ya kuficha vitu. You have a kiosk. Wewe uko na kiosk yako. When you hear the name Wednesday you start hiding things. Ukisikia ni Jumatano unaanza kufunga. But I want to say Lakini nataka Biblia nasema It is not the first time it ever happened. Sio wakati wa kwanza kutukia. A spirit a very destructive spirit. Roho ya kuangamiza sat upon the children of Israel. Ikakalia wana wa Israeli. Today maybe you a little business. Leo unaanza kuwa biashara yako ndogo. You so into your business in tears. Wewe ulipandia kwa machozi. You before you have it. Kabla hujavuna. It's broken down. Unaanga imeanguka. And things are taken. Na mambo yamechukuliwa. The children of Israel. Wana wa Israeli. The Bible says they cried unto God. Biblia kasema wakamlilia Mungu. They cried unto the Lord. Wakamlilia Bwana. My question for us today at Nyayo Stadium. Swali langu leo katika uwanja wa Nyayo. When we see the oppression of the Midianites. Tukiona kufinyika kufinywa kwa Midian. What is the church doing? Kanisa linafanya nini? Is the church crying to God? Kanisa linamlilia Mungu? Oh we are saying it's okay. Ama tunasema ni sawa tu. A better day is coming. Kesho ni bora kuliko leo. You have we have as a church kama kanisa tunayo to turn to god tumgeukie mungu and hear what god says na kusikiza vile mungu anasema this can only be done through prayer hii itafanyika tu kupitia maombi they cried unto god wakamlilia mungu they prayed wakaomba god is reminding us mungu anatukumbusha God did something very interesting. Mungu alifanya jambo la ajabu. God reminded as the children of Israel cried to him. Wakati wana wa Israeli walimlilia. God reminded them the, the victories he had given. Them. Mungu akawakumbusha ushindi aliyowapa. From the time they were slaves in bondage in Egypt. Kutoka wakati walikuwa watumwa kule Misri. God reminded them. Mungu akawakumbusha. How he delivered them out of the enemy. Vile aliwatoa kwa mikono ya adui. So God when when we turn to God in prayer wakati tunamgeukia Mungu kwa maombi The speaking God will always speak Mungu ananaye ataendelea kunena God will always respond to the cry of his people Na Mungu ataweza kujibu kilio cha watoto wake But let me give you something here Lakini acha nikupe kitu hapa Always when God gives you victory Kila wakati Mungu anakukupa ushindi Write down every victory that God gives you Andika kila ushindi ambao Mungu amekupa Because You will win battles. Kwa sababu utashinda vita. By reminding the enemy the victories that God gave you in the past. Kwa kukumbusha adui ushindi Bwana alikupatia awali. David was nothing. Alifikiri haikuwa kitu. David was a shepherd boy. Wali Daudi alikuwa tu ni kijana mchungaji. But when Israel needed a general to stand and fight for them and defend them. Wakati Israeli walihitaji generali wa kuwapigania na kusimama. And they couldn't find anybody. Hawangempata yeyote. The Bible says. Maandiko yanasema. David came. Daudi akaja. Into the battle of arena. Katika vita. And he looked at the giant. Na akatazama yule jitu. Who provokes God's covenant people. Aliyekasirisha wana wa Agano. And he removed a small note from his pocket. Akatoa kitu kidogo kwenye mfuko wake. And he counted on the battles that God gave him victory. Akaanza kuhesabu ushindi wa vita ambao Mungu alimpatia. I killed a bear. Na akasema niliua dubu. Another time a lion came. Wakati mwingine simba ukaja akaja. I killed a lamb. Nikashika akichukua na kondo. Nikapambana naye. He looked at the armies of Israel and asked Na sasa who is this and circumcised your first time Huyu ni nani asiyepeli Give me this man Nipatieni huyu jamaa And the Bible says Mama Antiko anasema The king called David Mfalme akamuita Daudi and gave him his armor Na akambatia vazi lake He was a boy Alikuwa kijana The boots could not feed Angeweza kutoshelewa He raised the sword Angeweza inua upanga Never allow Saul to give you his armor Usiwai ruhusu Sauli akupatie mavazi yake. Because your ama 2023 will be the name of the Lord. Kwa sababu katika mwaka huu vazi lako vasilaza kwa jina la Bwana. I am yourself. Na ni wewe utivalishe. And I want to remind you. Nataka niwakumbushe. When God gave you victory. Mungu alipokupa ushindi. Remember. Kumbuka. Write it down. Andika chini. So that ili you will always quote. Kila wakati utaweza kunakili na kusema. God this for, did this for me. God did. Mungu alinifanyia hiki. God gave me this. Mungu akanifanyia hiki. I was stuck. Nilikuwa nimekuama. And when you remember. Na ukikumbuka. Then you will do one thing. Utafanya kitu kimoja. You'll be strong. Utakuwa na nguvu. To face your battle. Upa I've come 
today and I'm about to speak about the battles that you are facing and you will say the same God who gave me this victory the same God will do this for me I don't know whom I'm talking to I've been called to come address somebody who is in a corner somewhere you trying this is not working you try that business is not working you cannot afford to pay this you better remind the devil I have a record of the victory that God gave me in the previous years when I didn't have a job I believed God when my children were going crazy I believed God I wish I have somebody today who will say you are talking to me I have seen the grace of God I have seen the goodness of God I have seen the masses of God if God did not pick me up I will not be here today oh come on somebody you washed you didn't have it together but look at what God has now today when God wants to see a miracle they look at you when God wants to see a wonder they look at you you are a sign a miracle and a wonder put your hands together somebody sit down sit down sit down I'm trying to teach. <laughs> I'm trying to teach. So suddenly, Kwa the story of Gideon comes up. Sasa ya Gideon, Gideon is threshing wheat in a wine presser. Gideon ako kwenye shinikizo, gangano. Isn't that odd? Sio ni jambo la jambo. Because a wine presser, he presses wine. Kwa sababu, pale ni pahali pa kutoa divai sio ngano sio kusia gangano so something is out of order here kuna jambo ambalo haliendi vizuri because what i know kwa sababu kile najua in israel they used to having threshing floors kwa sababu israeli wanakuanga na mashinikizo where they will beat the grain on the stone ambapo wanachukua kusiaga kupitumia mawe and you you can tell king david and the threshing floors na unaelewa mfalme daudi that's not my message i, I just mentioned so Uwasi, why, is angu, he, why is he using a wine presser to make to make uh, to make wheat kwa nini kitu cha kufinya kutoa divai ndio inatengeneza anatumia kutengeneza ngano the midianites had come upon them and he was on hideout wa wa midiani wamewashambulia wanajificha while Gideon was on hideout wakati Gideon anajificha trying to gather this and that together akijaribu kukusanya hiki na kile pamoja the angel of the lord appeared to him malaika wa bwana akamtokea look at somebody tell them god knows your address ambia jirani yako bwana anajua anwani yako he knows exactly where you stay anajua pahali upo so god appeared to the, the angel of god appeared to gideon malaika wa bwana akamtokea gideon and the angel told gideon malaika akamwambia gideon you mighty man of vara eh shujaa mwenye nguvu gideon thought this is wrong address gideon akasema sidhani ni mimi mighty man meaning you are strong man you are a brave man you are a hero wewe ni shujaa courageous man in battle shujaa vitani yet the man is a coward he is hiding in a cave making making wheat with a wine presser na mjua yeye ni muoga anayejificha pale akitumia kitu cha kufinya divai kutoa kufinya kusia gangana so to make it equaker a uh, Gideon quickly responds. That's a Gideon ana chip kwa raka. Oh Lord. Eh bwana. The angel began to speak to him. Malaika kaendelea kumsungumzia. On his assignment. Akamweleza kazi yake. I don't know if any one of you have ever been called by God. Sijui kama kuna mmoja wenu ameitwa na bwana. And the first thing you did was to give a nice excuse. Na kitu cha kwanza ulifanya ni kutoa udhuru. I went to up to standard 8 God. Mimi nilifika darasa la 8 Mungu. Because I came from a poor family. Maana kwetu ni masikini. I never went to the university. Nikwenda kwenye chuo kikuu. I don't know protocols. Mimi sijui how can you use me? Utanitumiaje? Gideon you are Gideon and myself we've been there 
Gideon wewe ni Gideon na mimi niko pamoja nawe. So Gideon nawe. gave an excuse. Gideon akatoa udhuru. He told the angel of God. Akamwambia malaika oh, wa Allah. By the way, uh, what I'm saying. I come from the poorest tribe in Manasseh. Mimi nimetoka kwa kabila maskini la Manasseh. And you know what? Na unajua nini? I'm the least in my father's house. Na kwa nyumba babangu mimi ndo mdogo. What do I want to say? Nasema nini? Gideon quickly disqualified himself. Gideon mara moja akajiondoa. For the assignment that the angel had for them. Kwa ile kazi ambayo malaika alimletea. Not knowing one thing. Hakujua jambo moja. That my spiritual father Pastor Bonke used to say all the time. Kama baba yangu ya kiroho Bonke alikuwa anasema. God qualifies the disqualified. Mungu huitimisha wasioitimu. God qualifies the disqualify once you could disqualify yourself you are a good candidate. Wanapo unapojifaona kwamba hauitimu Bwana anasema wewe ndio namtaka. Because that's a time you know it's not by might not by power but by the spirit of the living God. Hapo ndo utajua si kwa nguvu wala uweza lakini kwa roho mtakatifu. So God can use rejected people like me uh, the person holding a microphone is that person who was rejected Mungu anasatumia walio kataliwa kama mimi anaishika kipasa sauti ni aliye kataliwa I had many excuses Na mimi niko na visababu vingi Oh I had been divorced all oh, this and that Nimepigwa talaka he hiki na kile There was a time in a preacher in this country when they didn't have a message they preached to me Ulikuwa na wakati nikiwa katika wakati wa, wa, wa ubiri wa kikosa ujumbe mimi ndio ujumbe. But I'm still here preaching the gospel. Lakini kwa hapa bado na ubiri injili. You might have been rejected. Nasa kwa umekataliwa. I wept apostle as you prayed with those women who had been divorced. Ah. Babani ulipokuwa ukiwaombea nililia ulipoombea wale wa mama waliopigwa tabaka Because it does not matter what people name you Kwa sababu haijalishi watu wanakutaja aje What matters is what God calls you Kile kinamaanisha ni kile Mungu anakuita Today I stand to say Leo nasimama kusema I raise my children Ninainua watoto wangu Today Leo My house is a house of preachers Nyumba yangu ni ya wahubiri My grandson is preaching in United States my Seed has become a seed of God. Mjuku wangu anahubiri Uingereza, mbegu yangu imekuwa ya Mungu. So today if you are rejected. Leo kama umekataliwa. Men may reject you. Watu wanaanza kukataa. Men can give you a certificate of divorce. Wanaanza kupatia cheti cha talaka. But when you are given a certificate of divorce. Ukipewa cheti cha talaka. You better tell that man I met another man. Heru mwambie huyo mwana mtakatifu. He said I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Amaota ni acha. Give God a hand and a shout. I met this man. His name is Jesus. When another man went and gave me a paper, I got another man who said, Come, baby. Come, I will make you become. And that man held me. He said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will make you my voice. Give your neighbor high five. Patie jirani yako high five. Apostle, if I go again this time, do like this, I will see it. Apostle, kiwa na nepika wakati, panya hii. Namba mketi. Tell somebody, she's talking about the other man. Ambia mwenzako, anaongea jua yule mwingine. You know I always speak to women in women's meeting. Uwa ni naongea na mama katika mikutana ya mama.
smelled like an Egyptian. He smelled like an Egyptian. He dressed like an Egyptian. If you don't believe it, how did Jethro's daughter say when they saw Moses? They said we saw an Egyptian and he helped us. So he feared to be rejected. Think of Jeremiah. Jeremiah gave an excuse saying I do not know how to speak because I'm nothing but a youth. He felt inadequate. How about Jonah? Jonah was, an, was a missionary on run. He was running away from the call of God. And I was wondering the other day, why was Jonah running away from God? Jonah was carefully guarding his reputation. Because it seems like he had some good education. Because he knew if God sends him to Nineveh, and he goes and prophesies and the prophecy doesn't come to pass or God changes his mind and save the people what will be his reputation you know sometimes God gives you a word for somebody and the word doesn't match the person so you might try to do karabati on the word, but you either give it as it is or, or, or else you mess up. So there are many Jonas like me who always felt that they were not the people that God, that they disqualified themselves. Going back to Gideon, Gideon understood that he was standing in the very presence of God. And the angel of God spoke to Gideon. And Gideon was listening to what God was saying. And after the angel had spoken, one of the things I wanted to take note of, Gideon told the angel, do not depart from here. I pray, give me a second and I will bring an offering and set it before you. And the angel said, I will wait. Preachers never stop preaching about offering because it is in the word of God. Apostle Jesus, come over here. As I stand at this altar, I perceive you are a man of God. And here I bring a sacrifice. And listen. Excuse me. After the service today, sit, sit, because I'm about to say something. After this service, I will ask you to bring an offering at the altar. I didn't come here to raise an offering. You people know that I never raise offerings. I never do harambes. But I perceive that God has given me a word. About Gideon. Gideon knew. He needed to do the first thing first. He told the angel, wait. Why didn't the angel say, I have an assignment, I'm going somewhere else. But the angel said, I will wait. Go bring it. Today. Leo. I have not written the Bible. But today at this altar you're going to lay an offering unto the Lord. 
Lakini leo katika madhabahu yetu tutaweka dhabihu kwa Bwana. I have prayed and I have heard God say. Nimeomba nimesikia Bwana akisema. Some people in here today. Watu wengine mali hapa leo. The offer and the sacrifice you will bring. Sadaka na dhabihu mtakayoletea. Will cause God to perform a miracle Ita, on your behalf. Itafanyia Mungu akutendee kitu. In jambu. other words. Kwa maneno mengine. You are offering. Dhabihu yako. That you bring to the altar today. Unaeleta kwa madhabahu leo. Will speak on your behalf. Inanana kwa niaba yako. Thank you. Asante. So Gideon, Gideon went akaenda and prepared a young goat. Akatengeneza mwanambuzi. Why young? Kwa nini mdogo? You know there are some goats that are so tough. Unajua kuna mbuzi wengine ambao ni wakali that even if you have a Maasai blood like me. Hata kama uko na damu ya Kimasai kama mimi to move, to move a bone kutoa ndome ndome to, to pull meat out of the bone akuata you need to be strong unahitaji nguvu hata nguvu nyingi mfupa the kabuzi was born in 1960 you know huyo alizaliwa mwaka wa 1960 you know my mother used to have a cow Oh, mama yangu alikuwa na ngombe. And every time I went home the cow was missing my mother wasn't there because she went chasing after the cow. Kila wakati nikaenda nikaona kwamba hakuna ngombe mama hayupo pia kwa sababu ameanza kumtafuta ngombe yule. I decided to decree and speak judgment over that cow. Nikaanza kutabiri na kutangaza hukumu juu ya ngombe huyo because my my mother used to tell me oh when i got married to your father mama mamangu ananiambia babangu aliponioa i was given the mother of this calf nilipewa mama wa huyu ndama and i'm thinking surely this thing is older than me nikasema kwa nini huyu ni mkubwa kunishinda and you it you are, you are chasing after it the whole village yani kijiji nzima tu namtafuta ni muona kaobe have you seen the calf Unajua ndama huyo 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 ndama. Na 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 no. So Gideon knew what to give. Gideon akajua nini atapea. A young tender goat. Mwanambuzi mdogo. He knew something else. Akajua jambo lingine. He prepared and even bread. Akatengeneza mkate usio tu wa chapa. The Bible says he put the meat in the basket. Maandiko nasema kwamba akaweka kwenye kikapu. And that kind nice casserole nice that comes from the meat. Na unajua ile harufu nzuri anayetoka kwenye nyama. It was the one that was squeezing and falling it dropped all in a pot. Na ikaangukia kwenye sufuria hiyo. So Gideon took that pot. Na Gideon akachukua sufuria hiyo. He put hiyo. his offering under the tree. Na akaweka sadaka yake chini ya mti. Gideon was given specific instructions. Na akapewa maagizo fulani. To put the meat and the unriven bread. Aweke mchuzi huo na na mikate sio tu achachu on top of the rock juu ya mwamba woo, woo. i wish i have time to preach about the rock eri kama ningekuwa na wakati kwa ongeongea juu ya mwamba oh just let me hide myself in thee oh wacha niweze kujificha ndani yako so he was told put the meat on top of the rock akaambiwa uweke juu ya mwamba and the angel of god took his staff na malaika wa bwana akachukua fimbo yake and at the end of his staff he touched that offering na katika fimbo hiyo akaguza sadaka hiyo the next verse says na mstari mwingine ukasema fire arose na moto ukawaka out of the rock kutoka kwa mwamba mm. apostle man of god you can take that one and preach on that one mtumishi wa mungu chukua hiyo na ubi hiyo the fire moto came out of the rock ukatoka kwenye mwamba who is this rock who has the fire huyu ni mwamba yupi aliye na moto jesus christ yes o christ is a rock ni mwamba that has the fire ambao una moto the fire that burns moto uchomao and purify na utakasa and burns the chaff na unachoma takataka so the angel kwa malaika after touching the offering baada ya kuguza sadaka and the fire came na moto kaondoka the sacrifice was consumed meaning that it was accepted by the lord sadaka hiyo ikateketezwa maana yake bwana alikubali and immediately na hapo kwa ghafla the angel disappeared malaika akaondoka i know of the rock ninamjua yule mwamba psalms says there is a stone which the builders rejected 
Andiko nasema kuna yule chiu aliyekataliwa na washi which has become the chief cornerstone ambao umekuwa ni mwamba wa pembeni Jesus Christ is the rock Yesu Kristo ndio mwamba that the builders rejected ambao washi waliukataa but has become the firm firm foundation of our salvation na umekuwa ni msingi imara wa so today kwa hiyo leo it does not matter if life batters you kama maisha imekugonga say like the singer sons imba kama yule mwenye of ages mwamba wa let me hide myself in thee wacha nijificha kwa because in thee kwa sababu ndani yako there is a rock kuna mwamba i know there is a very beautiful a song that was written by mrs masika najua kuna wimbo mzuri sana uliandikwa na niko chini ya mwamba niko chini ya mwamba na mwamba uko juu yangu na mwamba juu yangu that is the song we're going to do that in a moment tutaenda kuimba wimbo huu so the bible says biblia ikasema the angel of god disappeared malaika wa bwana kaondoka how i pray this day ni maombi yangu leo whatever we shall offer unto god chochote tutomtolea mungu god will testify it will testify for us before our heaven itashuhudia mbele yetu mbele and be kwetu this mbele za mungu altar mbele ya madhabahu hii has been named ime heavenly fire moto wa mbinguni today i have come to say leo nimekuja kusema the rock mwamba the fire is on top of the rock na moto uko juu ya mwamba and that is the rock that the builders rejected na huo ndio mwamba uliokataliwa na washi that is the fire na hiyo ndio moto that will burn ambao utachoma the angel malaika akaondoka and Gideon was given one assignment Gide- as I'm coming to conclusion. Nikitamatisha Gideon akapewa kazi moja. But I have told you many times those who have known me in preaching. Nimewaambia mara nyingi wale mmenanjua nikihubiri. I'm like a pastor Paul. Nakaa kama mtume Paulo. So when I say finally brethren. Nikisema hatimaye wa ndugu. Wait for another epistle. Ongoja ongoja waraka mwingine. Finally brethren. Hatimaye wa I say this to you. Ninawaambia hii. Oh by the way Timothy. Oh, uh, bring me oh, the coat I forgot because Nilete. winter is about to come. I thought he said finally. Na mimi nilikuwa nafikiri amesema hatimaye tena ameanza. Gideon's assignment was to build an altar. Gideon akapewa kazi ya kujenga madhabahu. On that place where he encountered the rock Pahali alipokutana na mwamba hapo hapo Today I have connected with this place Leo nimejiunganisha na mali hapa Because apostle has called it heavenly fire Maana apostle ameita ni moto wa mbinguni And upon that heavenly fire Na juu ya heavenly fire There is a rock Kuna mwamba So Gideon was told Gideon akaambiwa to build an altar Amjeng ajenge madhabahu upon the rock and call it the Lord is peace Naite bwana ni amani after that encounter the bible says Na baada hiyo biblia ikasema Gideon's life was transformed and changed Gideon maisha yake ikabadilishwa Gideon outgrew the frustrations of men Na Gideon akapita changamoto za wanadamu fears hope insecurities kutokuwa na usalama cares and concern kutokuwa na shughuli na kusumbuka Gideon's life was turned around na maisha Gideon ikageuzwa today leo when we encounter god tukikutana na mungu our lives are transformed maisha yetu yanabadilishwa we die to self tunakufia we are wenyewe. transformed tunageuzwa then we can hear god say sasa tunamsikia mungu akisema this is the way go into it hii ndio njia pita after you fight your insecurities ukipambana na kutokuwa na usalama wako what happens kile kinatendeka god can trust you mungu atakuamini and god will ask you to do things na kuna vitu mungu atakwambia ufanye that you don't know ambayo wewe mwenyewe hujui you know i have written a book by the uh, entitled cactus in the desert Unajua nimeandika kitabu ambacho kinaitwa Cactus in the Desert. It is my entire life. Nimeongea juu ya maisha yangu yote. When I came to God with my insecurities. Nilipokuja kwa Mungu nikiwa sina usalama. My fears and my concern. Hofu na kushughulika kwangu. God turned my life around. Mungu akageuza maisha yangu. I am saying there was a paradigm shift. Nikasema kukakuwa na mgeuzo wa kiajabu. I begin to trust God. Nikaanza kumtumaini ya Mungu. And let me tell you something. Wacha niniwaambie jambo. Most of my European friends. Wa marafiki zangu kutoka Ulaya. Great great prophets. Na manabii wakubwa kubwa. They tell me all the time I'm a third generation of a prophet. Wakaniambia mimi ni wa kizazi cha tatu cha nabii. I did not come from a prophet.
prophetic background. Mimi sija toka katika kizazi cha manabii. I came from a business background. Mimi ninatoka kwa kizazi ya wana biashara. But when God put his hand on me. Bwana alipeaka mkono wake juu yangu. Change my life. Akabadilisha maisha yangu. I stop depending on people. Nikaacha kutegemea watu. I began depending on God. Nikaanza kumtegemea Mungu. Let me tell you something. Wacha niwaambie jambo. Sometimes God will tell me. Wakati mwingine Mungu ananiambia. Let me tell you something. when God starts put his hand on you. Mungu akianza kuweka mkono wake juu yako. The test that you get majaribu yale unapitia you not even believe it hata wewe mwenyewe hutaamini one time wakati moja i told god nikamwambia mungu i was staying in a bad place nilikuwa nakaa pale pabaya and i told god nikamwambia mungu you know god you and me we are not looking good at all in this place mungu wewe na mimi angalia atukae vizuri tu hapa now i think we better change this kind of lifestyle naomba tubadilishe mtindo huu I told God God nikamwambia Mungu I want you to give me another place Nataka unipatie pale pengine Surprisingly he asked me where Akaniuliza jambo la ajabu wapi What a good question Swali nzuri aje I didn't even wait for an answer Hata sikungoja I looked for some beautiful most expensive apartments which are not far from here Nikatafuta jumba kizuri hapo si mbali nikotoka At the time they were high note they were so expensive Wakati huo ilikuwa ni ghali sana So because God told me because I told God and God spoke to me Kwa sababu nilimwambia Mungu na Mungu akanisungumzia So I went to look for those apartments Nikajua hizo And you know when you walk into a place like that walk like you have it together Don't walk with all your spirit. Walk like you are moving in. Oh, wakati unapotembea wacha kutembea kwa kujihurumia, tembea. So now so, God, so I started inspecting the apartment and I said I don't like this fridge it looks too old. Can you change it when you Nikaanza kwenda pale kupeleleza nikasema sitaki fridge hii naomba. It seems so, like this bed is overused. I don't like it. I looked at the sofa and I said I don't think I like this couch. You have another one in the store? Nika nikaangalia sofa nikamwambia ni kama asipedi hii na kuna zingine. I inspected the whole place. Kapeleleza kila pahali. So they told me when are you intending to move in? I said as soon as possible. Utaingia lini nakamwambia Tell your neighbor as soon as possible. Ambia jirani yako wakati wowote. That night, usiku huo, the Lord spoke to me. Mungu akanisungumzia. To go to a certain office. Niende kwa ofisi fulani. It is in the book I'll not mention it. Sitaitaja kwa sababu iko kwa kitabu. And so I went to that building. Nikaenda katika chupa hicho. I don't know whom I've gone to see. Hata mimi sijui naenda kumuona nani. I knew that I needed to go to that level, Lakini, the floor, because that one I had heard. Nilijua tu lazima niende kwenye hapo kwenye kitabu. Immediately I walked in. Nilipoingia. The secretary looked at me and said, "Do you have an appointment?" I said, "Yes." Mwandishi akaniangalia akasema una ulikuwa umeitwa? Nikamwambia ndio. Oh God, she didn't ask me to see who. Nashukuru Bwana hakuniambia uone nani, muone nani. But if she did, God would have given me his name. Kwa sababu kama angeniuliza, Mungu angenipa jina mpya. So now uh, she said, "Oh, uh, would you mind to wait for the two people who came before you then?" I said, "No problem." No, I can't. Una shida kuangoja hawa wale ambao walikutangulia. Nikamwambia, "Sina shida mimi." I'm sitting there and I'm saying, "Dear Lord." Nina keti hapo nikisema, "Eh Bwana, this one. This one is strange." So I told I was told you are next. I walked in. There was a short man. Sitting on this huge desk. Red carpet. He looked at me and asked me, "Are you Treza?" He told me, "Your people walked in before you and they waited for you." What wako walikuja mbele yako na and they left this envelope for you oh walikutangulia na waka ndio hii basha i looked at the envelope nikaangalia basha hiyo i gave it to somebody for miracle money i have given that envelope away oh nimepeana basha hiyo i looked at the envelope nikaangalia hiyo basha it was engraved on gold ink ilikuwa imeandikwa katika ino ya kidhahabu It had the entire rent and deposit for six months. Ilikuwa na rent pamoja na deposit ya miezi sita. New notes were in the envelope. Kuna pesa ilikuwa mpya. I ran to the apartments to pay. Nikakimbia kulipa. I paid the apartment. Nikalipa nyumba hiyo. And I looked at the apartment and say, Nikaangalia nyumba nikasema, Look what the Lord has done. 
God, we will look so good here together. When I moved into the apartment, I moved with God. Listen, listen. Skiza, skiza. When the money was finished, ilisha, you cannot believe God sent me to the same office. Uta Mungu kwa ile office ile ile. To cut your neighbor and tell them there is a refilling in the house. Mm. Kuna mjaso tena katika mm, 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 God is going to refill something Mungu today. Tena mm -hmm. You may have an empty vessel, but God prepare it because it's going to be a refilling. Oh, you don't Kwa know what I'm talking about. Jaza, you will have a refilling in that. Tena. So God sent me to the same office. Mungu kwa office tu. This time I went with my shoulders out. Sasa ni meandra, ha, ni kujuju. So the secretary looked at me. Uh, secretary and said, you can walk in. I walked in. Ikaingia. The man was furious. He looked at me and said, do you understand I'm the MD of this company? Why do you send those Arabs here? They come here the way they look proud with white garment. Who cares? You send three people, Arabs, to bring you money, to bring you envelopes here. Am I a messenger? I said, ah, stop it, give me my envelope. As I walked out, the Holy Spirit asked me, do you know any Arab? The angels of God. Malaika. The angels of God. Malaika. Oh, oh you didn't hear what to what I say. If God cannot trust people with your money, He can send an angel to bring you the envelope. Oh, I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here today. You may be disgusted, you may be broke, but I want to speak today. There is a refilling miracle. I'm saying today there is an angel who can be trusted with your money. Make a shout and give God. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Do you want one more testimony? Apostle, please. Okay. My daughter. My daughter whom Prophet Cindy and Mike they have hosted her in their home. My daughter was going to an American school. And it was a missionary school. At the time, Rosalind Academy was just a missionary school. And they didn't take children who were locally from Kenya because it was missionary school. The school was started in, the, in 1930s by the Mennonite missionaries. So my daughter was in that school. And my, when my life fell apart. So I did not know the school. We used to pay school fees in dollars. Not in Kenyan shillings. Now my daughter is in the school. I don't know what to do. What? Just in between, Hapo katikati, I had a major crusade in Nakuru. Na na and when I was in that crusade, 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 the Lord spoke to me, wana 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 tomorrow morning, Monday, yes, yes, go and empty your accounts. Send out everything and give to a certain pastor. That pastor has now gone home to be with the Lord. I obeyed God. But I, but I decided to call and check out the pastor that I was supposed to give the money. When I called the pastor, I for sure thought it was wrong address. The testimony to members, we have seen God. I, 
And I'm thinking God you are telling me to give somebody who is so blessed money. Nikamwambia Mungu unaniambia nipatie mtu aliyebarikiwa hivi pesa. But I did. Lakini nilifanya hivyo. After I gave him the money. Baada ya kumpatia pesa. He told me. Akaniambia I had not paid my rent. Sijalipa rent yangu. <laughs> and I was going uh, they gave me a notice that they were going to throw me out. Na wakanipatia ilani kwamba wanaenda kuniondoa. And then I asked him why are you giving me such a fiery testimony how blessed you are. And you know Unajua, when I gave that money filled up my account katika, on account Tuesday Chumaine, Tuesday is the day after Monday ya I receive a call from nika, Rosarine Academy nikapokea simu kutoka shule hiyo and the school said na hiyo shule ya mtoto wangu kanambia who does not want to be identified mtu ambaye hakutaka kutambulika kutambuliwa has paid Catherine school fees until she graduates amelipa oh come on somebody hadi aitimu listen to me you single mothers sikiza oh mama god is about to do a miracle mungu anataka kufanya kwa karibu kufanya kwa mungu mungu anataka kufanya kwa karibu god is not a man mungu si mwanadamu my daughter graduated akaitim and she was among the first students to get university in in Nyack that is New York upstate na akakuwa kwanza kupata chuo kikuu hapo without me paying one coin bila kulipa tanduru give somebody high five tell them it's paid high for. five Uh, come on look at somebody who wants to talk and tell them it's paid for akalia yule anayetaka kuongea all you need to do is to connect because because the fire from the rock moto kutoka kwa mwamba is here uko hapa sit down sit down let's get finish get let's get finish so my daughter's fees so karo ya ya bindi yangu was paid ikalipwa and by the way i had persuaded her to go to a kenyan school hakika nilikuwa nimemshawishi aende katika shule ya wa Kenya I begged her and I said Catherine what why don't we do this why don't we try to see how, if they can put your grades together and you go to Remuru girls she told me mom I will not go if you don't have faith around me to have faith for myself nikamwambia kwa nini usiende tu katika shule ya upili ya Liburu akaniambia bana kama una imani mimi mwenyewe nina imani raise dangerous children who know the word of god inweni watoto hatari wanaojua imani not able to provide ambao wanajua Mungu anaweza peana they know they have a daddy in heaven wanajua wana My daughter looked at my eyebrows and said mom you don't have to have faith for me i can have faith for myself alimtazama kwenye kope la macho yangu akaniambia mama kama una imani wacha niwe na imani kwa ajili yangu haleluya amen i know it's going to happen to oh my god time time the, why is the clock here oh my goodness i'm preaching the balance goes okay i'm about to finish i'm just about to finish finally brethren hatimaye wapenzi is the first one first finally yeah 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 sasa ni hatimaye ya mwisho so when we go to three you tell me to get oh, out hatimaye hii ni ya kwanza nikifika ya tatu utaniambia don't tell me to get out until somebody has been healed usiniambie nitoke na mtu hajapona anakaa upande huu weird thing ngoja kwenda kwa upasuaji but to this acha nimalize let me finish let me uniangalie tena na ulete ushuhuda kwa apostle when i was praying nilipokuwa nikiomba i knew it because i saw you nilijua kwa sababu nilikuona all right all right let me see if i can finish this thing acha nimalize hii so now sasa the grace the grace the grace of nema, god nema, nema, nema. so today leo i want to say to some to you nasa kuambia god is about to do something new in your life mungu karibu kufanya jambo kwa maisha yako the battles that you have been running and is are wearing you out vita ambavyo umekuwa ukipamba navyo na vimekutosha come to say nimekuja kusema and give you a boldness that you can face your battles na nikupe ujasiri kwamba unaweza pambana vita i decree you can face your tomorrow na tangaza unaosaona kesho yako I know that the God is granting us grace. Ajua Mungu anatupa neema. To fight vicious battles. Kupigana vita vya ajabu. That have been hidden from our faces. Ambavyo vimefichwa hatuvioni. Somebody has come from a hospital. Kuna mtu ametoka kwa hospitali. You came here believing God. Ulikuja hapo ukimwamini Mungu. You are dead scared of cancer. Unaogopa uko na saratani. But I want you to know today. Nataka ujue leo. Though you have come and you ask you discharge yourself to come to this meeting. Umejiondoa kwenye hospitali uje hapa kwa mkutano. God also had dis- has dispatch a healing for you. Bwana sasa pia ameheana uponyaji kwa ajili yako. 
am about to release the word of God and send you back to the same hospital I tell them to check you out if they see any sign look for me hallelujah hallelujah I apostle there is such grace on this altar so, so I'm finishing about Gideon what was Gideon told to do? Gideon was commanded to tear down the altars of Baal. When God's people turn to idol worship, God also gives them sometimes to their enemies. So the children of Israel were given to their enemies so they could learn something. And the enemies turn against them. So Gideon was told by God to tear down the altar of Baal. And this is what the Bible says that your father's house has. Might we have altars that we have we worship and we bring our sacrifices. And he was told to cut down the images that were beside it and literally destroy it. And after destroying the old altar, the angel of the Lord told Gideon, you shall build another altar. On that same rock, you shall build an altar. And you will put it in a proper order and now, arrangement. And from that altar, you will burn a sacrifice. Using the fire, you're going to use the wood that you're going to break from those gods and those images. How many know that is a dangerous mission? Few people are believing with me. How about the villagers? What will they say? This is a very scary mission. Dangerous. So Gideon looked at it and said, okay. This cannot be done during the day. Gideon took ten men who are among us his servants and they decided to do a good job at night they destroyed the altars of Baal they destroyed each and everything that stood let me pause and say that which you do not destroy will come back and haunt you and destroy you this is a heavenly altar fire conference what have you read on your altar and now uh, so he's the, the men of the city woke up in the morning finally brethren atimaye wapenzi Say number two, yeah. So the men of the city came. When they woke up, they couldn't believe what they saw. The altar was not there. It had been torn down. Everything was burnt. Today, Leo, are you willing to burn and destroy the old altar? and raise a new altar unto the Lord which would always testify for you you know there are many altars that we raise for ourselves and we worship them money fame you know wealth 
mali. There are so many altars that we have raised for ourselves. Kuna, kuna But this day, leo, we shall bring every altar down. Kila and tainu, and we shall chini. raise the banner of Jehovah Nisi high and above. Zaidi. So the men of the city came. Watu And when they came, Walipokuja, they knew for sure wakajua hakika, this there is a young man who is so radical. Kuna kijana hapa ambaye ni mkali. I wish there is somebody here Eri kama who will paleo. be known by an entire village na nzima. that when they are looking for somebody who destroys altars, mtu wa they will know your name. Watajua jina lako. They will be calling your name. Watalita jina lako. I wish I have an evangelist Eri kuna kuwa na who will go to the witches and speak to those altars and raise new altars for the name of the Lord. Put your hands together and say, Lord, I'm here. Apostle, can I give you one last testimony? I went, one, one, two, I went to a certain place as an evangelist and I was told I, I was told that village there is a witch doctor who said nobody will ever preach there without his permission you hear that permission from who I inquired more I was told no 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 you've got to understand five pastors came they came The first day, they start, the body start to swell. The second day, they can't stand. They die on the third day. I said according to my Bible, you have it wrong because the third day is the day of resurrection. I decided to go. I called for a crusade next to the witch doctor's house on a school ground. I said this is where I will preach Jesus. I'll drive every devil out. I'll have the sick healed. Blind will see. Lame will walk in the name of Jesus. It's in my book, the testimony. I went with a team of uh, some people you know no Bishop Alan Kuna. He was one of my young sons in faith. You know, the witch doctor also came to church. Oh, so it was time for me to preach. I asked my interpreter, is the witch doctor here? I was told, yes. He's the man sitting there. I said, where? Oh, he was so scared to point at the witch doctor, so he was doing the shame. I had to study the, the, the movement so I know which one it is. I changed my message. I preach about Simeon who used to bewitch the people of Samaria. I made a call for salvation. Let me tell you something. We had suckers in that service. We had a suckers. A, a show. Oh, Sarakasi. Yeah. Asante. You, are, you, you have never seen a human being standing on another human's head. My team started asking me, Mom, wait, wait, are we safe? I told my team, this is a free show. Wait for a Jesus show. This is a devil show. You know the man of God spoke about the devil. This is a devil show. Wait until Jesus takes over the show. They were doing some somersaults. They do all, all, all sorts of things on the air. I took the microphone back and I said, have you finished the show? Because I want to do my show. 
I stood up and said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I bring it unto you. Let me tell you something. I ask everybody who brought something to protect themselves from the witch doctor to bring it at the altar. They came running with pockets and small things and and, 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 and small little bags and and you know let me tell you never get impressed one time I opened that, those bags of witchcraft you know they just can't open it you know I commanded it to open to open uh, a small teeth you don't know from where <laughs> to small teeth to small hairs, maybe you are from Sarum. So, so all sorts of weird things, little tails, small skins of some sort. So now, I preach Christ. Let me tell you something. That is where an evangelist must demonstrate the power of God. You call the blind, you line them up. Call the deaf, you line them up. Take the name, you line them up. And and you say, I'm about to call the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. The miracles that happened in that place shock the witch doctor. He tiptoed back to his house. Everybody, even the pastor, got saved again. I followed the witch doctor to his house. He lived next to the house. I told my team I want to see his house. Talk about poverty. I wish I, I, I had a picture because I needed to have a picture of that. It's not a house. It was a mad house. And with the grass touching. It's a it didn't have a door, but it had one entrance on that side and another one opposite. So I'm there inspecting what the devil gives people. What, what, what do you get from the devil? There is a woman sitting there. She's a customer. I asked a woman, what have you come here to do? She told me, no, I came. Because these people are my friends. I said, no, don't lie to me. Stand up. She had a huge tumor, like seven months pregnant. I said, you came to the witch doctor because of this tumor. But silver and gold have I none, but I've got something, the name of Jesus. I said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, receive your miracle. The woman shrunk, the tummy shrunk to the back. The skirt fell. She took the skirt. She ran out through the opposite door. But having given her life to Jesus, somebody is about to depopulate hell. Oh, you didn't hear what I say. Hallelujah. There are so many altars that are testifying against us. But Satan on your marks, the sleeping giant which is the church, is about to arise. Every witch doctor, we serve you with an altar. This is heavenly fire altar call. We are coming for the altars. In the altar. That has been raised in your town, in your cities. Tell the devil we are coming. We are coming with the blood of Jesus. We are coming with the fire of the Holy Ghost. We are coming to heal the sick. I decree today fire. Apostle, you can't call us about fire. We need that fire. And the fire is to destroy the altars. A oh, woman came to me and told me, Oh, mom, you know, I, somebody brought a dead snake at my door. 
Mama moja alikuja akaniambia mama kuna mtu ameleta nyoka aliyekufa katika lango la nyumba yangu. I looked at her and I said, "Honey, is it big enough for us to make shoes and a belt?" Nikaambia rafiki yangu inatosha tuweze kutumia ngozi yake kutengeneza. Tell your neighbor, don't get impressed. Naambia usi the devil has nothing. Shetani ana chochote. Oh, the devil has nothing. Shetani ana chochote. He has no power. Ana nguvu. All power is given unto you. Nguvu yote tumepewa. Jesus says. Kwa jina la Behold, I give you power. Nasema na hapa nguvu. You have power. Uko na nguvu. To tear down altars. Kuharibu madhabahu. Anything. Chochote. That is exalted against God. Kilichoinuliwa juu ya Mungu. You know. Najua. After my testimony in the UK they invited me to Scotland. Walinialika huko Scotland baada ya ushuhuda wangu Uingereza. Akaniambia We have a Satanist who controls the city. Tuko na pepo anayetawala mchi. Let me tell you something. Wacha niwaambie jambo. Don't look for me. Usitafute. You are there. Uko hapo. You are there. Uko hapo. You can do it. Unasafanya. Jesus said. Yes alisema. Behold, I give you power. Behold, I give you power. Whatsoever you bind on earth, I will bind it for you in heaven. Whatsoever you shall free on earth, I will free it on heaven. So they went to Joash to look for Gideon. Wakanda kwa baba Gideon Joash. They say, bring Gideon. We want to kill your son Gideon. Akasema leteni akamwambia leteni Gideon hata kumuua. Because he has done dangerous things. Kwa sababu amefanya vitu vya kuhatarisha. Woi mogionori kite guy. If you see what he have done to the gods. He Ka- beat our gods to death. Kila me, kama umeona kile ambacho amefanyia miungu yetu. He, he beat the god, killed the god and then burnt him with fire. Aliharibu miungu yetu akavunja na akachoma na mimi. Give us your son today. mwana wako leo. Because your son must die. Kwa sababu lazima afe. And Josh looked at them and asked the people of the city. Josh yakaangalia akauliza. Are you serious my son killed your 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 god? Muna hakika mtoto wangu aliangamiza madhabahu yenu. Then he looked at them and said. Aliangalia akawaambia. Why didn't Baal fight for himself? Kwa nini Baal hakujitetea? If Baal is God, kama Baali ni Mungu, don't fight for him. Usimpiganie. Let him plead for himself. Siajipiganie mwenyewe. Today I have come to preach and say. Leo nimekuja kuhubiri kusema. We serve a God. Tunamwabudu Mungu. We have a God. Tunaye Mungu. We have an everlasting Father. Baba wa milele. Who doesn't know any boundaries? Asiyejua mipaka yoyote. So now Gideon. Sasa Gideoni. The father said, "Ah, ah. This case is over. Sasa tuseme kesi imesha. My son can kill your god. Kama mwanangu anasangamiza mungu. I have no respect of your god anymore. Hata sasa sitaheshimu mungu wenu. He's not god. Si mungu tena. He needed to fight for himself. Kama hawezi jitetea. And Gideon raised an army. Gideon akainua jeshi. That went and conquered and brought uh, the victory of God. Ilienda kushinda na kuleta ushindi wa Bwana. Before you sit down today. Kabla hujaketi leo. Today. Leo. I have a message which I which I borrow and paraphrase from my spiritual authority pastor Bonke. Ambao nimeuchukua na ninaufupisha tu ambao nilipata kwa baba yangu Bonke. My assignment was to speak to the zeros to tell them you can become a zero. You can become a hero. Ujumbe wangu ni kwamba unaweza kuwa shujaa. Tell your neighbor tell them from a zero to a hero. Musa mwenzako mwambie kutoka sufuri hadi shujaa. That is going to be my story. Hiyo ndio itakuwa hadithi yangu. From today. Kuanzia leo. From today. Kuanzia leo. I'm getting battle strategies. Natuata mikakati mpya. Kuanzia leo. I know how to fight my enemy. Najua kupiga maadui wangu. From today. Kuanzia leo. You don't have to lay hands on your on my on me. I can lay hands on myself. Because Jesus say. Bwana Yesu amesema. I have given you power. Nimeapa nguvu. And authority. Na mamlaka. Whatsoever you bind on earth. I will bind it in heaven. All the zeros. 
Today I declare you are going to be heroes. All the Gideons. Come out of the dens. Come out of the caves. Come out of the hiding place. This is a season. Of facing the Midianites. Face to face. No more hiding. No more destruction. In the name of Jesus. Make a shell. Pastor Saudi. Uh, the preacher said, The race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, the bread not to the wise, nor riches to a man of understanding, nor favor to men of skills, but time, but time and chances. Oh, come on. I wish I had somebody who is charged with the fire of the Holy Ghost in this place. The preacher said, time and chances. Time and chances. Today, time and chances. Today is your time. Today is your chance. Time and chances. How fast to everyone Make a shout. I said from a zero to a hero. When people want to see a sign, they will be coming to see you. When I did evangelism, one of the greatest anointing over my life was with witch doctors. I traveled everywhere. One time I called, there was a witch doctor sitting. You know witch doctors are always given seats in front. I always wonder, why, why do they get seats in front like they are men of God? When the bishops are sitting, they, they spray Witches. Witch doctors. So one time I was in Ukambani, I was told, Mom, be very careful. Those men there, so, you have to. So be be ukambani, careful. Careful. God told me, don't preach. In front was a woman who had elephantiasis. The legs were like a speaker. She couldn't stand. I told her, bring her on that chair here. I told the witches, if this woman is healed, I will preach the gospel here. If she's not healed, you do what you would want to do. Tell your neighbor, this is a risky business. But now faith is a substance. You didn't hear what I've just said. But now faith is a substance. It's an evidence of things. I knew the Holy Spirit told me. We have another church right there. You know what is happening? This is a heavenly fire. You don't know where the fire will start sparking. But I said there is a fire that will begin to spark everywhere in the name of Jesus. The name will walk. The blind will see. Oh, there is a fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I, the Lord spoke to me. Don't touch the woman. Speak a word. I said in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I command those legs To shrink Skin back And to be normal I told the people watch a miracle if you have never seen it And a new skin the woman took the chair Mama and began to walk and praising God. The zeros 
Mapuri. about to become heroes. I said the zeros. Mapuri. Oh, come on, some, let me tell you something. If your friends have written you off, Kama watu, wewe, tell them Wambie, there is a new move. <laughs> kuna yo, te, there umpia. is a new move. Kuna I umpia. have come to heavenly fire. Nime kuja heaven's fire. The fire is on the rock. The rock is Christ. Today in the name of Jesus, Jesus, you are going to do great exploits. Leo you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover not in your name but in the name that is above every name God has given me a name his name is my identity whatsoever I need from God God will always give it to me excellence with your permission let me give these people a testimony how many know pastors these days there is no money even in the churches how many are experiencing scarcities? Yeah. Because we are praying for God to give our people money because there is no, not much money. In the day of scarcity, six months ago, a land that is next to us, which I never wanted to purge, because we had a very interesting neighbor, this man used to abuse us, call us everything until you don't even know what, what that means. You know, you can be called domestic animals, horses, but you understand. But this man used to call us everything. Sometimes I didn't even know what he calls Six months ago, my team and I, excellence was also in this team. God told me, go for the land. I will give it to you. Do you know, this man raised the price to 100 million extra, 1 million dollars extra. God told me, go for it. Go for it. Between six months up to now, now last month, Every coin was paid 4.5 million dollars. Oh, come on, somebody. God can do it for somebody. God can, if God can do it for me, He will do it for you. Men of God, let me tell you something. We bring offerings to the treasure box. I don't like us going to get their money. They bring their money if they are. Every time I will raise my hand and I will say, God, the God of grace and multiplication, the God of loaves and fishes, get into this box and listen. Every single Sunday, God gave me a certain figure. And that figure, he always added, you know, the girls are looking at me, either to 700,000 or five. Mungu anakisha tu ameongeza juu zaidi. Today, Leo, we have the title deed. Tuko na cheti and we are going to kulili. dedicate the land on the 13th of August. Oh, the devil is a liar. Shetani when mwogo. the economy is bad, this is the bad. time for the children of God to arise Kuinuka. and shine. Na for the light has come Mana and the glory of God is risen upon you. Make a shout. Today somebody will go and speak and prophesy Leo, kuna to your na business. Na tu, you are shalake. going to open that door. You will tell the devil much out of my business. I have shalake. a new boss. Nikona His boss. name yeah. is Jesus. He yes. will be the high administrator yeah, yeah, of my yo. business. You will lay hands on everything. People will be queuing at your shop. They will be drawn to you by the Holy Ghost. I am preaching faith. This is what I have preached for 40 years. Allow me to preach the faith that made me buy cars without money. 
I asked the dealer, deliver the car to my house. I asked a, a dealer of, this, of the car, bring that car to my house because Let's I sold it and I liked it. My and somebody asked, you, do you have money? I said, don't be foolish. Never ask me if I have money to buy. I have a currency. I said I have a currency. The currency of faith. For everything goes away. I so the car is being driven to my house. I said, God, if you are not coming through, this will look so bad on you, you will not even believe it. Tell your neighbor she's a friend of God. You can only do those conversations if you are a friend of God. So said, Between you and me, God, you know, this will look so bad. They called me, they called me and said, We are somewhere near Aga Khan Hospital on the way coming to the house. Is, is, is okay? I said, yeah, 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 just keep coming. I prayed. God never gave me a word. I do something which I will ask you not to do at home. I took the Bible. I put it down. I stood on the Bible. I said, God, I'm standing on your promises. Suddenly, a phone came. Somebody called and said, I have an urgent message that I need to deliver because God, I have not slept. God has ordered me. What you don't know. The car and the money arrival was same. Come on, somebody give God a praise and a thanksgiving in this place. Oh God, how I pray. I may not ask much for you. But I pray for the grace to be given you of faith. 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 That believes in God. Faith. Which is a substance of things. And an evidence of things not seen. If today there will be any impartation. From this stage. As I get down there and sit down. And give the microphone to apostle. May you raise your hand and say Lord. Begin to pray. Begin to speak to God. The grace. The gift of faith. The currency of faith. The currency of faith. It's going to be your currency. Begin to speak to God. Come on, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. God, give me a measure of faith. Faith that speaks. Faith that calls those things that are not as open. God, give me a measure of faith. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Can we push apostle for five minutes? Begin to push. I understand this is the last session. We can push for a miracle. Begin to push. Sukuma. Begin to push. Ansa kusukuma. Begin to push. Ansa kusukuma. Begin to push. Ansa kusukuma. Grace is here today. The gift of faith. Faith. Iman. Faith that worketh miracles. Iman Begin, to Begin, to Begin to push. Begin to push. Ansa kusukuma. Begin to push. Ansa kusukuma. In the name of Jesus. Begin to push. Ansa kusukuma. Push for a moment. Sukuma. Oh God, give me a, a measure of grace. Wana unipe kipimo cha neema. Of faith. Kwa iman. So that I can call those things that are not. Ili nite vipu wa mbavya vipu. Nikama vipu. Begin to believe God. Ansa kumamili kwa. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la esu. Begin to pray. Ansa kuomba. Pray. Omba. Which war. Omba. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la esu. Orabo sheke terebo sanda. Roko tororororobo shanda.
Wait, 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 wait. Goya, 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 goya. Wait, 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 wait. Goya, goya, goya. I know Prophet Cindy on Najua. Sunday. Najua. She spoke to us about uprooting. Nabi Cindy Ali Tufu, Lesa Jumapili Kusu, Kupanda Naku, Kungoa, Kungoa. Might there be altars? that we need to destroy before we ask of the Lord might there be Jeremiah that's a fruit begin to a fruit begin to a fruit begin to a fruit begin to a fruit every altar every altar altars that have been raised altars of pride altars of fame altars of money Anything, any altar that does not smell like God, first uproot it, uproot it, uproot it, uproot it, in the name of Jesus, uproot those altars, uproot them, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, those altars, they might be family altars, uproot them, in the name of Jesus, uproot them, uproot them, go ahead honey, uproot them, them. Get them from the root. In the name of Jesus. You devil, I'm uprooting you today. In the name of Jesus. I uproot. Uproot every word. Every negative word. Every thought. Anything that exalts itself against God. Uproot it. In the name of Jesus. Uproot your insecurity. In the name of Jesus. Uproot. In the name of Jesus. Uproot. In the name of Jesus. Uproot. Come on, somebody, let's do a spiritual warfare for three more minutes. In the name of Jesus. Uproot everything. Anything. That testifies against you. Uproot it. Get it out. In the name of Jesus. I uproot you. In the name of Jesus. Every force of darkness. Every power of evil. In the name of Jesus. I uproot sacrifices that were made in my family. In the name of Jesus. I uproot them. Every bar. In our family, I uproot you. In the name of Jesus, you have no roots. I uproot you. Come on, somebody, help me for two minutes. Uproot, uproot, pull down. Come on, pull down. In the name of Jesus, pull it, pull it, pull it out, pull it out. In the name of Jesus, it hinders your faith. Pull it out, pull it out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. In the name of Jesus. Oh In the name of Jesus. Those of you watching us from the hospital, uproot every altar in the name of Jesus. Those who are watching us from every county, from every place, begin to uproot everything in your village that hinders the move of God in the name of Jesus. Uproot it. Just like Jeremiah, yes. uproot it, uproot it, just like Gideon, destroy, destroy every altar that hinders you, in the name of Jesus, every altar, altars of death, in the name of Jesus, uproot them, my God, my God, woo, woo, Uproot, uproot. You cannot build on the old. Uproot the old. Get it out. Get it out of God's way. In the name of Jesus. Get it out. Put it out. Put it out. In the name of Jesus. My God, my God. This is the fire of the Holy Ghost. Uproot it. Uproot it. Uproot it. Anything that you know, that stands between you and God. Call it out. Uproot it. In the name of Jesus. Uproot it. Names that 
who are given to you of defeat uproot the defeat in the name of Jesus uproot put out in the name of Jesus you have the victory you have the victory you have the victory in the name of Jesus victory is yours you are winner of the battle I ask you have uprooted now begin to raise your hand and begin to thank God in the name of Jesus I have won the battle I have the victory in the name of Jesus I shall not be wrong be called by the old name in the name of Jesus I embrace newness newness come on embrace newness newness in the name of Jesus embrace newness in the name of Jesus Woo. are you ready now are you ready to finish are you ready now to do it all right prophetically begin to build come on begin to build Begin to build. Anza kujenga kiunabi. Begin to build. Anza kujenga. Come on, build. Jenga. Build. Jenga. Build. Jenga. Put one brick on top of the other. Weka build. Faith. Hope. Kibani. Love. Kibani. Kibani. Build. Patience. Build. Kibani. Come on, build. Jenga. Build. Jenga. Build. Jenga. Build. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. People are still building. People are still building. Build your business. Build it. Build your business. Build your house. Build your, build your new home. Come on, honey. Do, do it. Now faith is a substance. Build. Begin to build. Put one stone on top of the other. And remember the rock is Christ. The foundation. the foundation is firm. The foundation is Christ. Build. Yes, build. Yes. Upon this rock, I shall build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. I shall build upon the rock. 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 Build Build upon the rock. 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 Build your nation now. Call your nation now. Kotoroboshata. Seketereboshan. I sense impartation. In I sense impartation. In I sense impartation. In I sense The gift of faith. Keep power to In the name of Jesus. What you know, Jesus? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What you know, Jesus? My God. My God. Yes. Honey, go build that vision. Build it. Build it. The foundation is firm. Build the vision. Build the vision. The God who causes us to buy without money. Build it. Build it. Build it. Build it. Build it. Who come and dedicate it. Build it. Speak faith. Build it. Begin to build it. Begin to build it. Build it. Begin to build it. In the name of Jesus. Men of this house. Come and stand with your you with your set men of God. Those who are not serving. The elders. The pastoral team. Begin to come. Prophet Cindy and Prophet Francine, would you all come? Mike, could you all come on the stage, please? My God, I sense, I sense the river of God. I sense grace of ownership. I'm sensing. Nice. Our first lady, come on the stage. You are a nation builder. Come and build Kenya right here. In the name of Jesus, God has called you to be a mother. The work of a mother is to build. Come on the stage. The apostles, our guest speakers, come on the stage. Right now, understand this is the last service. 
We've got to do God's business right here. In the name of Jesus. Rokotete. Begin to speak in tongues in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to build the vision. Begin to build. Apostle Kimani, continue building the vision. You cannot stop when God has said, This is the season. This is the time for our nation when we are brought evil in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Harrison, man of God, apostle, you cannot stop at where you are. First of all, where you are is too small for you. In fact, I don't know what you are doing there. You need to move. Okay. You need to pray and ask God to give you a picture because a picture is being drawn of your new place in the name of Jesus. A new place. I said a new place. I said a new place. I said a new place. place. Men of God, you start to have unusual favor in this nation with the musicians, with the comedians, with the people that people don't like in their church. God will give you favor. They will come with twisted hairs. They will come with earrings. But you remember, your call is not to judge them, but to be your father. Oh, come on, son. Give God a praise in this house. Oh, God. Begin to see. Begin to see. If it is square, it's not yours. I see something that has a semicircle in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I'm saying build your vision right now. Build it. Build it. Those of you from FEM, begin to build. Begin to build. We need millions of dollars to build the vision. We are building for our children. We are getting our children. Apostles, we are getting our children from the power of darkness. We are getting them from their pubs. We are getting them from witches. We are bringing them back to the kingdom of God. Oh, come on. This is a time to build our nation. Our children will not be used by politicians. Our children belong to God. They are going to serve our God. In the name of Jesus. There is something in the atmosphere, something creative. It is a mantle. It is something you did not have. But through the preaching of the word of God. It has fallen on you. It has fallen on you. You can grab it. It is so creative. I want to say to you. This nation will be known for the gift of faith. Yes, take it. Right there. Right there. The fire of God is getting ready to fall in this place. The fire from heaven is getting ready. There it is. There it is. It's coming like a wave. There it is. Just take it. Father in the name of Jesus The Lord gave me a word before I came He said I'm raising up Nehemiah To change Kenya 
and the nations of the earth. Na mataifa ya ulimwengu. He said I'm raising up builders. Anasema na inua jezi. I already had this word. Niko na ile neno. Women of God. Mtumishi wa Mungu. Before I came to Kabla this place. Kabla mahali hapa. So in the mighty name of Jesus. Kwa hivyo kwa jina la Yesu. Take the building and work. Tukua upako kujenga. Right now. Sasa. Right now. Tukua. Take it. 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 All over. Kila mara. Take it. Tukua. Take it. Tukua. Take it. Tukua. And you will build. Na mtajenga. I had a vision. Nilikuwa na njozi. A church buildings. Ujenzi wa kanisa. Bringing up from the soil. Kitoka mchanganyini. And the Lord says Na Mungu akasema This nation Taifa hili will be full itaundwa of churches ya makanisa from this day kutoka leo from this day kutoka leo the building anointing upako wa kujenga And the Lord says Na Mungu anasema Thank you daughter Asante bwana The Lord is so grateful to you. Mungu anakushukuru sana. This nation needed a mother. Itaifa ilihitaji mama. And Satan wanted to drive you out. Shetani alitaka kukutoa. Satan. Shetani has loosed the spirit of rejection on the women of this nation. Ameachilia roho ya kukataliwa kwa mama taifa hile. Ya kukataliwa. But you are broken it says the Lord. You have broken it. Umeipunja. Because you never told me no. Sababu haukumkata Mungu. You never refused. Haukukata. Anything. Chochote. That I ask you to do. Ambayo Mungu alikuitisha. You were always faithful. Ulikuwa mwaminifu. And the Lord says. Na Bwana asema. Now you see. Sasa vitu vipo. The generation. Kizazi. That your sacrifice. Ambayo ulitolea dhabihu. Ulilipia. Says the Lord. Asema Bwana. The Lord says. Bwana asema. First lady. Mama taifa. I have made you. Nimekufanya. A model. Ma- kiungo because you sacrifice kwa sababu ulitoa dhabihu i am giving you ninakupa an impartation upako of the building anointing ya kujenga now give it to her for the for the national prayer altar kwa madhabahu ya kitaifa ya maombi patie ah. for the national prayer altar ya madhabahu ya kitaifa ya maombi never before haijawahi Have I been in a nation where the first lady Kuwa kwa taifa na ta- mama taifa is going to build an altar for prayer in the capital. Ya maombi kwa taifa. Do you understand? Unaelewa? What God has given you. Mungu amekupa. Ah. And now. Na sasa. You see. Inaona. The atmosphere. Anga. Of heaven. Ya bingu. It's so creative. Ya kujenga. So super. Imeja. Natural. It's here. It's here. Do you pale? There's angels here. Kuna malaika pale. There's angels here. Kuna malaika pale. All here. No. Take it. Chukua. Just receive it. Hebu ipokea. The heavenly host. Do you? Bring gifts from heaven. Tonight. Santa Bwana. Santa Bwana. Santa Bwana. Thank you. Santa. Thank you Lord. Santa Bwana. Thank you Lord. Santa Do you want it? Unaitaka? Do you want it? Unaitaka? Then take it. Chukua. Take the fire. Kwa moto. Take the heavenly fire. Kwa moto wa bingu.
begging her. Ukiwa. The Lord said, anasema, You needed a mother too. Ulitaji mama pia. And I saw your heart. On the tree, on the show. And the one word that God gave me this Neno. Neno. because he said that he said this nation what you spoke was giving God his platform back. <laughs> God has his platform Mungu in Kenya. Fasi tena Kenya. I said the Lord has his platform in Kenya. Tena Kenya. And that was one of the things that Ay, everything was just was just, you know, God was just guiding and Kila kitu every Mungu alikuwa anawaongoza kila kitu. He says thank you. Anasema asante sana. For giving this nation. Kwa kupa taifa hili. Is platform. Na fasi. Thank you. Asante. Uh, if you will allow me. Mukini rusu. If you will allow me. Mukini rusu. When you have paid such a high price. Ukilipa garama ina hii ya juu. You suffer a lot of criticism. Unateseka na kushtumiwa sana. You suffer a lot of people Utatese. making you the subject of gossip. Watu watakusengenya. And I just feel today. Na nina hisi leo. Kenya. Ta Kenya. You must understand Lazima muelewe kitu. We must show gratitude. Lazima tushukuru. To this mother. Kwa mama huyu. We must. Come on, show gratitude. Hebu muonyeshe shukrani. Haya mama. Thank you. Asante. Thank you Asante. for being a mother. Kwa kuwa mama. Thank you for hating poverty. Asante kwa kutukio maskini. Even though people criticized you and said, Oh, you're just a prosperity teacher. No, I lifted you out of the dust, says the Lord. I lifted you, and I will lift this nation out of the dust, says the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Situfunge macho kila mmoja wetu. The angelic host. Malaika, oh. malaika. It's very active right now. Wamejaa mahali hapa. Very active. Wako kwa kazi. Oh. Wow. Oh, I will even be so bold to say that the angel over Kenya. Sikusema hivi kwa maana kuna malaika juu ya Kenya. Has enthroned himself. Amejiketisha kwa kiti cha enzi. And so just close your eyes. Si basi funga macho. Listen. Skiza. No one is too small. Hakuna mtu mdogo. No one. Hakuna. Even if you have that lack of education. Hata kama haukusoma. Even if you think I am the least of them. Hata kama unasema mimi ni mdogo zaidi kati yao. God Bwana is touching anakuguza you. Sasa. This testimony. Ushuhuda huu. Come on you can feel it. Unaweza hisi. I just saw angels Ni right here. Ni malaika mahali pale. Oh, just right here. Wako pale. Right here is like a swirl. Wamejaa mahali pale. You, you can, just take it. Spokea. Just take it. Pokea. Just take it. Pokea. It's a swirl in the back there. Pale nyuma. Yeah, just take it. You Pokea. can feel the Moto wa Mungu uko hapa. The fire in the very back. Moto pale nyuma. The very back. Pale nyuma. There are some young people Kuna here. Kuna hapa. Right now. Sasa. Who are receiving the call of God? Wana wito wa Mungu. There were governmental leaders. Watakuwa viongozi wa serikali. There are Nehemiahs. Watakuwa Nehemia. You can take it. Unaweza pokea? Don't just say oh no. Usiseme hapana. Those things happen for this person. Hiyo vitu ni ya wengine. Why not you? Si mbona si wewe? Just receive it Ebu right now. Sasa. Wherever you're from. Popote ulipo. Don't say oh they only happens in Africa. Usiseme yezi fanyika Afrika. Oh it Africa. happens in Europe. Inafanyika Europa tu. Just must take it. Pokea tu. Bishops take it. Maskofu pokea. Listen. Skiza. 
You were called to be pioneers, um, not settlers. Um, we can reach a point in ministry where we settle in. And we remember the past. Who you were called to pioneer. Every single one of you. Those listening by live stream. You are pioneers. I just put your hand in your heart. I command the that strong man of rejection to leave you now. I speak to every curse of witchcraft. Every curse put upon you. I break it now. I break it now. I command it to leave you. I break every familiar spirit that came down through your family line. And when I speak to you, familiar spirit, you are going to go right now. You are going to leave this family. There will be no witchcraft. No demon. No power. Darkness, it will stay in your bloodline today Leo. the blood of Jesus breaks it you familiar spirit go now 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 be free be free hallelujah hallelujah and now now sasa the cleansing Utakaso. The cleansing blood of Jesus. Ya Yesu the name. Jina la Yesu. Come on, the name. Jina la Yesu. What is that name? What is that name? What is that name? Gani? Is that name? It's Jesus. Ni Yesu. It's cleansing you. Ina tutakasa. Minds are being restored. The spirit of insanity is leaving you. Ya it leaves right now. Inatoka sasa. Right now. Sasa. It's leaving. Na kuwacha. Your mind. Mawazo yako. It's being healed. Inaponywa. I command every spirit of infirmity. I am speaking to you, evil demons. I command you in Jesus' name. You will leave and you will go right now. No, I say you will go right now. You will leave them. I say be healed. Be healed. Some of you, it's like oil is being poured down upon you, like from heaven. Some of you, the fire of God is coming upon you. You can feel electricity. Because the power of God is living. The power of God is living. Just receive it. We're just going to start worshiping. Allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you. Activate your dreams. Pastors. Satan is a dream stealer. And sometimes even pastors want to quit. Become so discouraged. Right now. Lakini sasa, you rededicate your wewe life. Tena. Can we do that? Can we rededicate our Tuneza lives? Tena maisha yetu? Holy Spirit. Takatifu. Holy Spirit. Takatifu. Yeah. Oh, Rome this is presence. Come on, say more, Lord. Sema buwana. Say it. Sema buwana. Say more, Lord. Sema say buwana. it. More Lord! We want more! Thank you, Lord. Sante Buana. We're gonna do the rush thing. We're so broken on this altar. But there's no bad thing how bringing forth women you know better without tears. Sipo macho. Ask to do something. We're going to have the sick healed through your hands today. And listen. Skia. Listen. Skia. I've not talked to Apostle anything about. 
but every one of us today lakini kila mmoja wetu i know we use mpesas ya kwamba tutumia mpesa i have never done this what i'm doing on any platform sija wai fanya hii kwa madhabahu yoyote but i have got some instruction lakini basi nimepewa mashauri fulani kidiana yoni to the angel wait kaambia malaika ngoja we will wait until we have raised tutangoja mpaka tuinue madhabahu stage hapa this stage hapa it's prideful hapa i'm surrounded here by prophets nizungukwa hapa na manabii a blind prophet can tell bp anatupoka anaweza kusema something new has been birthed kitu kipya kimetendeka mahali hapa it's going to be like a wave itakuwa ni kama muondoko like a canopy itakuwa ni kama uvuli that was sit bautaka upon people juu ya watu you be witnessing to somebody in the matatu they see us to shahidi ya mtu katika matatu na anaokoka tu people will get saved watu wataokoka last sunday mapili iliyopita we were going to have a prophet Cindy and Mike kwa tuwe na nabii Cindy na Mike and uh, saturday before she came mwamosi akaniambia saturday i did prostrate at my altar i have an altar at home niko na madhabahu pale nyumbani i didn't ask god for money sikuliza mungu pesa i didn't ask god to give me anything sikuliza mungu anipe kitu but i ask god lakini kamuliza mungu to give us this generation anipe kizazi hiki this generation kizazi hiki a generation that people are writing off kizazi ambacho watu wamekatalia mbali people don't want them watu hawa i don't care how they will come to church vile watakuja kanisani let them come with their earrings let them come with their hairs wacha waje wakiwa wamevaa mitindo yao don't do nothing preach christ wewe hubiri kristo atana wao we start cleaning up people before they are in the kingdom tulianza kuleta watu katika family mistake number 1 you have no authority makosa una mamlaka why don't you know how them kwa nini uwependi you know i gave this man a word kapa baba skofu neno that he is going to start reaching out to some of the most weird characters kwamba kuna watu ambao sio eleweka wataanza kuja kwake in this nation some are comedians Gine. some are musicians wengine ni wanamuziki you know man of god there was a time god gave me the young singers na wakati mungu alinipatia wale watenda dhambi wachanga tu the generation of and god raised them to be gospel singers you know all of you na mungu akawainua wote wakawa ibadi all this uh, what do you them? you all know them unawajua when and all of this you all know that unawajua and the entire bunch and Nawote. also our marathon people god gave me a grace to reach out to them mungu akanipa but until prophet cindy came on sunday paka nabi cindy akaja i was feeling god i I needed to pass on the baton the, the baton and the mantle of evangelism to a generation. I know right now in the ministry we have about 300 people reaching out going to schools going to where people say in Moranga people don't get saved they are getting saved. Nipo sema Moranga watu hawakoki. Watu wanaokoka. We are showing our people love. Don't judge them. Watu pendo sio chochote kingine. Pendo tu. You know prophet Cindy before I came and I was reading the book of Ezekiel 34 God starts, He said I accuse the shepherds of Israel From chapter 1 it's up to 22 They frustrated they did not bring the broken ones put wounds they didn't heal them they put themselves and walk, kept themselves warm and they forsook and God said I want you to prophesy against them because I'll raise for myself I'll raise for myself God is raising for himself You know of course why would universities be calling me to go and start them did not step in the in their space of yet god at a given time told me go and build me an army 
And I was not a church business. Anybody who ever prophesied about church, I told them, don't even go there. Until a father that people never knew of, the late Archbishop Manasses Kuya. Let me tell you something. That was a man used by God in every gift of the Spirit. I called him to speak for us. He had everybody baptized in the Holy Ghost. This man of God, this man of God was a man of God. Do you know he told me something that my, my Danish family loved to hear about monarchy? When they were crowning Queen Elizabeth, two Africans were invited him and Des Bishop Tesmo Tutu of South Africa. And as they sat around the table, he looked at the queen and said, now that you are going to be crowned to be the queen, and again to stand for the church of England, are you born again? She said, no, nobody has ever asked me. She's, he said, today, I have asked you. She said yes. And they prayed. Before his death, he told me he wanted to father me. Every Saturday, I cancelled every speaking engagement to spend time with the man of God who God, you know, who told me I wear a uniform. But I have the spirit of God. You know, he told me that one time he was called because there was a manifestation in one of the churches of England. He, he was told, why, why don't you come and help us? He came and the, and the word of knowledge dropped on him and he was told. And the, the benches were being overturned and thrown. You can hear that he gave a testimony, I think, in one of our meetings. And you know what he said? Who plays music here in this church? They said it is the band from the next pub. They were told, let them tell them not to come anymore. The devil left the church. This man, I spent time with him. Towards his death, he put on the entire clergy of a nut bishop. And he told me he wanted to say his final words on our stage. I said, Dad, you are so wrong because you know you, this stage is not Anglican stage. He said, That's why I want to do that. And he said a word and spoke a word. And he told me, Teresa, I'm going home. Two days later, the Anglican church called me. He rested with an entire tragedy. Everything from the heart to the shoes. He told his children, take me to the hospital, a certain hospital. And then they got there and he said, Dad, do you come out? He said, no, I have, stop, I have stopped walking. They ran to get a stretcher. They found him with that big ring with a cross. He had already gone home to be with us. Grace we're talking about our foundation. Of we know that we are. Okay, we're going to do this. How many of you are sick in your body? Let me ask this one. How many feel like you have received something? This All right. Good, good, good. Do we have any sick among us? 
If you are sick in your body, raise your hand. Kama wewe ni mgonjwa, inua mkono wako. And that woman that was supposed to be somewhere there. Huyo mwanamke ambaye alipigwa scan kule. Because I know you have to go back to the hospital. Mimi najua kwamba unarudi hospitali. I always send people to go back to the hospital. Tafadhali tuma watu waende hospitali wakangaliwe. Tumors. Vimbe. Will go. Zitaenda. Today. Leo. In the ailment will obey. Kila kitu kitatii. So if you are sick raise your hand like Kama wewe ni mgonjwa inua mkono wako tu. This is what we're going to do. Hii ndio tutafanya. Silver and gold have you none. Fedha na dhahabu hatuna. But such as you have. Lakini kile tunacho is the name. Ni china. Is above every name. Bali limepita majina yote. There is sick keep your hand until they surround you for prayer. Mahali wewe ni mgonjwa eka mkono juu mpaka mchungaji akuzungushe umeme. We shall lay our hands on the sick and they shall recover. Yes, that's exactly what it says. And I know what I'm saying. I have been to intensive care unit. Preached to a man who was in a coma. And the family was so upset with me because they thought I was a normal preacher. I'm in the ICU saying now I'm preaching from Psalms number 20. The Lord is my shepherd. I said, where you are going, you know. You can sense the danger. And I preach, I preach. Then I told the man in a coma, what do you want to say? Are you responding to salvation? Apostle, the man opened eyes and said, I want to receive him, yes. Right now, the born again, the man, Got born again. He opened his eyes. He was out of a coma. Today, Leo, the hands on the sick. Sasa. Just do it. Just do it. Surround Leo. them. If they are sick, stand until people have laid hands on you. If there is anybody sick around you, kama kuna mtu mgonjwa ambaye amesimama na wewe do it around do it uh, like around if if you're born again but if you're not born again don't even bother kama ujaokoka usiwekelee mkono but but lay hands on them lakini yote ameinua mkono na umesimama na yeye na umeokoka mwekelee mkono muombe touch them now Use sasa. in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu begin to pray for them. kuomba sasa in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu heal the sick ponya wagonjwa heal the sick ponya wagonjwa begin to heal the sick anza kuwaponya in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu heal them right now ponya sasa name of Jesus. Speak to the spirit of damp and deafness. Speak to the blind eye in the name of Jesus. The power is in speaking. Arrest every spirit that exalts itself against God in the name of Jesus. 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 Speak to diabetes. Speak to every illness. Speak to hypertension. In the name of Jesus. Speak to barrenness. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, ten women are going to conceive and bring forth in nine months from now. Begin to thank God for your miracle. Begin to praise God for your miracle. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. If you have any growth, touch it. Let them touch it until it's gone. In the name of Jesus. I send a word to a woman in Nairobi Hospital who is watching us live. The Bible says they sent the word and healed their disease. I send the word. Go over you women, woman in Nairobi Hospital. In the name of Jesus, I send a message of faith to a child in Mata Hospital. In the name of Jesus, as the parents are surrounding that house, lay your hand on the child. Begin to decree a miracle. In the name of Jesus, have that child get out of the bed. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you honor. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, God. Asante.
Tell them to open their mouth and begin to thank God for them. Tell them to thank God for this miracle. Tell them to open their mouth and begin to thank God. Asante Asante Baba Yetu. The Holy Spirit has reminded me something. Yesterday, Chana, I got a word. As I was just resting and trusting God for this service. I'll ask that person, you don't have to raise your hand, but afterwards you can come and talk, talk, to, 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 a post, talk to Apostle Julius. This, this man of God made a mistake of borrowing money with a, pesa with a certain property na mali flani and you did not inform na haukuambia people that who needed to give you a go ahead watu ambao lazima basi wangekuruhusu now you are in a place sasa uko mahali where you feel like you are sinking mali wahisi ya kwamba wazama because the the where you borrowed kwa sababu mahali ulikopa pesa after you basi wanakutafuta the instruction will be shauri basi ndii God will humble you Mungu atakunyenyekeza because you ask you to call the people and inform them the mistake you kwa made sabu, kwa sababu utahitajika uite watu wale ulifaa kuambia ili kwamba uambie kosa ulilofanya but surprising lakini basi yanishangaza they will not throw you out hawatakutupa nje they will forgive you watakusamehea that's a word from the lord hivyo ndivyo asema bwana and i have obeyed mimi nimetii. Thank you Lord. Thank you. Santeni sana. Check if somebody is healed. Check if they are healed. Angalia, check. angalia ama kuna mtu amepona. Check, check when you laid hands on them. Ask them how. Wale ambao umeomba na wao mali umesimama, waulize ama wamepona. Waulize. Check, check, check. Waulize, tazama, waulize. Check them out. Waulize, angalia, waulize. Waulize. Ah? Huh? What happened there? Wako sawa wanatembea. Oh oh, wait 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 wait. You need to hear this testimony. You are Skiza, skiza, skiza ushuhuda huu. And I need to go in fire. You 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 were the lady who had what? That you prayed at Fem Church. Uh-huh. And I told you in 2019 I had a, a, a ramp. There, uh, 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 there, they said it's a uh, rhinoma. Uh, in my back, it had paralyzed me. They operated on me on 2019. Uh-huh. Again, 2020, I started breathing heavy, uh-huh. and they say that those are girls th- things. Yeah, uh, that there was something. Them, yeah. There was something growing in my <laughs> womb. I came and I told you. You told uh, people to lay hands on me, and uh, you you said two months ago. I went to the hospital. They 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 had a test on me. They said it's not cancerous, but they had to remove it because it's what bad. I have just come out of the hospital. Oh. The womb is not yet healed. Uh-huh. And they were saying that there is something on my breast. That is the one has, I refuse. And it that? has gone. Right oh, oh, it's gone. Oh, okay. Oh. Imenda. Imenda haiko. Pitia Yesu kalala. Shangwe na bigale gale Haleluya Shangilia bwana Come on raise your voice Give the Lord praise Give the Lord praise Nasema shangwe na bigale gale kwa bwana Nayo stadium shangwe Navigale gale Paka microphone ikute Shangwe navigale gale Telele za shangwe Telele za shangwe Telele za shangwe 
Sorry, I'm being reminded by the preachers, the, the sacrifice, the, 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 the seed I spoke about just coming right at the altar right now. Could we have the worship team before we wind up? Because this is very important. I know how important it is. Kabra atujafanya matole uyetu. Niko chini ya muamba. Amen. Niko chini ya muamba. Florence, niko chini ya muamba. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now, can you worship? Can you please put the details of the giving on the on the phone? Those who want to swipe their cards, the, the machine is there. There's something we're gonna do very very important. Put put the details on the on the on the on the, on the screens. Let's clap for the Holy Spirit. Those who want to, I say put the details, media team please, put the details for the people on the screen. And those who have brought the seed for a thousand dollars, I mean the Holy Spirit is moving in an amazing way. Uh, you can also bring it. You bring it here, those who are bringing the $1,000. Uh, this is a shift. There is something that God has done today uh, that is shifting the entire church in, in our nation. Okay, uh, the details are not coming from the... It is one, if you're giving by phone... It is one, the pay bill number, okay, it is, it is there. One, four, 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 four. Mm -hmm. Worship team, give us a song as people give their offerings. We are going to do something before we wind up uh, th this, before we release. Uh, I feel something, it must be that we need to do. Niko chindi ya mwamba, mwamba juu yangu, yesu ni fish, eh. Niko chini ya mwamba Ambia duwe zangu Niko chini ya mwamba Yesu ni fiche Niko chini ya mwamba Niko chini ya mwamba Mwamba juu ya ku Yesu Yesu ni fiche Niko chini ya mwamba 